particularity of position of two angles so activity two on the next page some are so the opposite figure on the right which is this one and we have to put yes or no for each blank so let's do it look at the at the first one here the branch a the angles having the same vertex we have two angles this angle and this angle they have the same vertex yes that's true the vertex is O the angles having common side yes they have the common side O Y so yes the angles lying from one side and another of the common side we have an angle that lies above the common side and the other angles lie underneath the common side so we say yes look at B do we have the same vertex look at the red angle the vertex is O and for the blue angle the vertex is Q so no we do not have the same vertex do the angles have the same common uh, the same uh, or common side yes they have a common side so we put yes do the angles lie at either parts of the common side yes we have uh, the angles lie at either parts now let's have a look for the part C we have the blue angle here and the light blue angle this is called RAS and the other angle is TAP so do they have the same vertex yes they have the same vertex O do they have a common side no they are apart they do not have a common side so the other question we should say no the the last case here we have the red angle which is mbl and we have also the blue angle which is m B K. So, in this case, we are asked, do they have the same vertex? Yes, they have the same vertex B. Yes. Do the angles have a common side? So, let's have a look. We have the smaller angle, which is MB and BL and the blue one which is the greater is mbk mbk so as we notice here that they have the same vertex b ml is side for mbl sorry m mb is a side for mbl mb is a side for the angle mbk so MB is a common side. Yes, they have common side. Do the angles lie at either parts of the common side? As we see here, the red angle is for the left of the common side and the blue one is also for the left. So, no, they do not lie at either parts. So we are asked what is the ID identification card for the pairs of the angle XOY and YOZ. Here we have XOY and YOZ. As we see, they have the same vertex. They have a common side. And the angles lie on one and other side of their common side. So we have three conditions for this angles for these angles so the identity card for these angles that they have the same vertex they have a common side and the angles lie at either parts of their common side so we have 
three conditions to have adjacent angle so to have an adjacent angle we should have these three conditions are fulfilled which is the common vertex the common side and lie at either parts of their common side the opposite figures represent the third page of the same book and we have to put yes or no so in number one the angles A and B have a common side do they have no it's we have to put a common vertex so they have a common vertex yes they have a common vertex the sides of the angles A and B are prolongation of one another if we prolong this side we should have the other side which is not the case so no two yes they have a common vertex and the side of one is a prolongation of the other if we prolong this side we should have this side and if we prolong this side we should have the side of the other angle so yes three they have a common vertex but the sides are not prolongation of each other if we prolong the side we should have side like this okay so no fourth figure they have a common uh, common vertex and they have and the sides are prolongation of the other yes and the other one we do not have a common vertex and maybe these sides are prolongation of each other or not the angles A and B have the same ID here we have two angles have the same ID number two and number four as we see here number two and number four so what are these figures the figures are number two and number four using your protractor measure the angles a and b in each figure and then what do you notice so this angle is 44 and this angle is 44 so we note that the angles a and b are equal in the other case the angle a equals 130 angle b equal 130 and the angles a and B are equal so we notice that the angles A and B are equal in the figures A uh, 2 and 4 so these angles are called vertically opposite angles so we have to know that in a vertically opposite angles there is a, there are conditions to be fulfilled which are the angles should have a common vertex and the side of one is prolongation of the other angle so let's have a flow chart for the particularity of position we have two particular positions we could say that the angles are adjacent if they have same vertex common side and they lie at either parts of their common side and we say that the angles are vertically opposite angles if they have same vertex and the side of one is prolongation of the other the text on our books here we have supplementary is 90 degrees complementary the sum is 180 particularity of position we have adjacent angles and vertically opposite angles and we have three conditions for adjacent angles and two conditions for vertically opposite angles.